reward, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Jacked up and good to go. Peggy 16. Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Fulcrum, and welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Emperor's 2. I am looking forward to finally finishing this. Maybe. We'll see. With the abysmal showing of last episode, where I kept falling off. Um, I have a document right now that documents every single death. I haven't finished going through the last episode yet. That's how many I, I just stupid falls and deaths. I'll probably go back through my older series and see stupid deaths as well. But, I don't know. Okay, so I have a feeling at the... Bring this out. Okay, I didn't trust that. Oh no. What did I say? <laughs> not even a minute in. Yeah, so I'm making a dream. It's not a fun movie. Okay, so I have to do this quick. Okay. Just have a chug. What? Okay, that's... <laughs> oh my god. I can already see what's gonna happen. I'm so mad. Wait, hold on. Okay. Okay, that's cool, okay. Uh, hold on. Okay. So this is literally patience puzzle. God. <laughs> Qin Shi Huangdi, the first emperor of China. Hmm. Looks pretty good, all things considered. I don't think he'll be needing this. I think that kept him sealed. Hi. Called it. Called it.
Oh no. Fool! Did you really think that a common thief would be allowed to leave the grip with the dragon's heart? Only a true servant of Kongen can wield its awesome power! <laughs> At last, the power of the first emperor is mine! Could you come down here? I can't hear you. Uh, no, that, no, that's not what I wanted. Want this? Ow! 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 Let me out. Okay, you know what? Fine, I'll switch darkness. I nearly was until you showed up. I guess that makes us even. Yeah, but your eyes are still glowing, indeed. Outside. He's getting stronger every second. If we don't stop him now, we never will. Let's go. I, I love the fact that my eyes are still glowing. It's like, if we don't stop him now, we never will. Yes, the power of eyes glow. Where did he go? Son of a... Wait. Ow! Oh, 
Okay, that was very anticlimactic. Was that literally it? I barely got out before it all collapsed. That's an incredible story. Not that I have anything to show for it. You have the undying gratitude of the Chinese people. I'd rather have the gratitude of one person in particular. <laughs> that sounds like fun. But I can't. Kai may be gone, but the tendrils of the Black Dragon still remain. I have much work to do. Girl in every port, Indy. But he can wait until tomorrow. But Indy, we were supposed to meet with Lao She to talk to him about that Nurhachi job. Lao She can wait. What? Okay, so we're gonna go over. There's the epilogue. So here is where we go over. We didn't, I did not get all the artifacts. I know that for a fact. I could have done a lot. Of but this is where I bring up the credits. <laughs> so thank you all so much for joining me today. I know this is a shorter episode than normal. Uh, but with everything that's going on, I think this is a perfect. That was an exceedingly underwhelming boss fight. Like, no joke. That was not what I expected. And, unfortunately, that's just unfortunate. That's unfortunate because the rest of the game is friggin' awesome. But, unfortunately, yeah. Anyways, so, of course, as always, I'm in this fulcrum, and thank you so much for joining me today for Indiana Jones and the Empress 2. So, I want to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek. So... I'll be tapping out here in a second, and it will crash the game. So tab out, and yes, my massive Steam list. But what's coming next? Well, bringing this up. So we'll tab back in, and boom, there's the crash. So, just got to do this. And I'm gonna give a little sneak sneak peek because we're gonna we're gonna mess around with Tomb Raider. Um, so Tomb Raider one to three got remastered, and I'm very happy about this. Um, so the photosensitivity warning that I put on at the beginning of every single video, especially when it comes to this game in particular, are necessary. Also, the frame. So here we are. Uh, I so the game started up. Give me two seconds to get it. Up. Properties. There we go. Boom! We can actually record this properly. <clears throat> so, it's got all three games. And we, of course, will be going through all three. So, let's muck around in Laura's home. And unfortunately, this is the problem. I know you can't probably can't hear it. There we go. Uh, sorry, I just realized that the audio hadn't switched over correctly. So um, there's going to be a lot of choppy audio. 
Why did you? Welcome to my home. Oh God! It turned it off again. There we go. All right. Use the D-pad to go into the music. So room. I hold on a second. Uh. No, that's. Hold on. Uh, options. Controls. Action weapon lock, roll flare, dock dash, secondary. Okay. I am trying to remember how to swap. Uh, there it is. So, here's the original. And yes, I am in fact controlling this with the mouse. But yeah. Lara Croft in this is basically the model from Tomb Raider Underworld. Okay. Let's do some tumbling. Press the jump button. Okay, so you jump, hold control, this. Yeah, I know this is probably not what people were expecting, but I have to. I'm, I'm. I have played. I played a bunch. Uh, I played a bunch of this already. Uh, main hall. Trying to Sorry figure things out. Crates. I'm having some things put into storage, and the delivery people haven't been yet. So yeah. So we'll go hit F1. So I like the modern lighting improvements, though. Though there are times when you want to be in the old Run up to a crate, sort of. And while still pressing forward, press action, and I'll vault up onto it. Uh, hold on. Left click. It's because I'm using modern controls, it uses the mouse a lot. So Um there are some jankiness. This used to be the ballroom, but I've converted it into my own personal gym. What do you think? Well, let's do some exercises. Okay. I don't actually run it with the walk button down, I won't fall off even if you try to make me. Go on. If you want to look around, press and hold the look button. Then press in the direction you want to look. Okay. If a jump is too far for me, I can grab the ledge and save myself from a nasty fall. Walk to the edge with the white line until I won't go any further. Then press jump immediately followed by forward, and while I'm in the air, press and hold the action button. Press forward like and I'll climb up. If I do a running jump, walk to the edge with the white line until I stop. Then let go of walk and tap backwards to give me a run up. Press forward and almost immediately press and hold the jump button. I won't actually jump until the last minute. Yeah. Right, this is a really big one. To do a running jump exactly as before, except while I'm in the air, press and hold the action button to make me grab the ledge. Nice. And then we have the last one here. Try to vault up here. I can't climb up because the gap is too small. But press right, and I'll shimmy sideways until there is room. Then press forward. And boom. Tap backwards, and I'll jump off backwards. Immediately press and hold the action button, and I'll grab the ledge on the way down. So all that's in regards to the original Let's controls. Let's go for a swim. The jump button and the directions move me around underwater. Ah, <sighs> oh, right. Now I'd better take off these wet clothes. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize it just kicked you right back to the main menu. Okay, so, so, let's take a look, because I know it's the second game, I believe you can trap him in the freezer. But yeah, we're j literally just checking out. Welcome back. 
After that grueling business last year, I decided to build this assault course to hone my skills and learn some new ones. For bigger gaps, I'll need to do a running jump. Back to the start. Okay, so... Okay, this is interesting. Up we go. There we go. Come on, Laura. You can do this. Slow as molasses you are. Oh, son of a- This set of obstacles is easiest to traverse by using my sideways jumps. Just press left or right at the same time as jump. I can jump backwards, too. Oh, hold on. Oh, this- Oh, no, this isn't designed with the modern controls in mind. That's... I need to figure this out. So hold on. Where are the controls? Okay, controls. Okay, so middle mouse does that. Go. Up we go. Oh, look at. Oh, she, 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 she's falling apart in the original. Okay, so we're at thirty, so we're doing actually better. Okay, so I will show you guys just how janky this is. So we go back to tank controls. See? For some jumps, it's actually easier. But we're going to do this in the tank controls. Okay, E makes sense for action. Okay, that was quite a tough one. Okay, I jumped. You need to make a running jump and then press action for me to grab the edge. I did, Laura. To get the run up exactly right. Walk to the edge, then tap backwards to jump back. If you run forwards from there and press jump, I'll make it just right. For bigger gaps, I need to do a running jump. No, I missed. Start. I literally missed. Okay, so I got to I got to do a No, oh. that's not right. You need to press jump and forward together for me to clear the gap. Run back to the start and try again. Wait, hold on. Okay. For bigger gaps, I need to do a running jump. Wait. Back to the start. <sighs> ah! I have been trying to do that move for so long.
Laura. Okay. Okay, that was quite a tough one. I make a running jump and then press action for me to grab the edge. To get the run up exactly right, walk to the edge, then tap backwards to jump. I, I love he's following me. He's like, you uh. from there and press jump. I'll make it just right. <laughs> For bigger gaps, I need to do a running jump. Oh god. Back to the start. I'm wondering. Cuz people keep saying it's like, uh, oh. Nerves. Feel free to explore the rest of the house and gardens. Uh, you know what? I'm going to turn back on regular controls because this is bugging me. Well, I call it regular controls. It's modern controls. <clears throat> they need a toggle for that. Oh, hold on. That's the that mode. Okay, that's such an awkward jump in this. Okay. So we go up here. Beautiful. Okay. The ballroom got renovated. That looks like a push button. Don't tease me with push buttons, game. Huh? Oh, this is later in the. Oh God. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm not doing that. I. I. I have other things to worry about. Ow. Not only did Laura hit her head, but my arm did not enjoy that. Okay. Let's have, so we'll switch back. Also, they, uh, there's a bug in the so here's her master bedroom. What is it? Yeah. No. Why no? Is there a key that I'm missing? Why did you say no? No. Laura? You're not in control here. Where's the bloody key? I'm I'm literally pl playing a different game <laughs> at this point. I'm just exploring to give you guys a taste of the insanity that we are in for. Oh wow. Okay. So, okay. So, what's this then? That's the way down. Okay, I can see that a little better in the old. But yeah, no, so oh, this is more or less a teaser, as I said. Okay. Interesting. Why did you have a massive frame rate issue for a split second there, game?
I love the old, and then... Na -da -da -da. Yes, because all British explorers have a mana. Okay, so where's the key? Is there a key? Is there a key? Swear to God. <laughs> Laura, Laura, you're not helping. I do like the new health bar, though. I don't have a feeling. There's a puzzle here somewhere, and I will find it. We have to finish it off with something interesting. Yeah. Come along! Okay, are you literally gonna trap me? He's not the brightest butler. <laughs> Apparently that's a rite of passage. Alright. Thank you so much for joining me. I've been Mr. Fulcrum, and I'll see you next time for Tomb Raider 1. Remastered. Bye-bye.